Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel of The Concept Guy and in this video we will talk about plate versus packed columns. Yes, it is one of the most important topics and that's why I have considered this. So, packed versus plate column. Well, packed is usually refers to the packings, the column which has the packings and plate is the normal tray column. So, let's see what is the difference between them so first thing is that how is they constructed okay now we know that both are distillation columns or let's say absorption columns and in plate column we have plates like this okay we all know that we have plates like this okay we will also talk about other differences soon in this video okay so first thing is that the feed comes up here and the vapor goes like this to the top okay the vapor goes like this and the liquid part the liquid that comes back flows through this then drops here then this 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 and goes at the bottom this is how a plate normally works and for the packed column we have that there is a packing so this is like some packing then there is a again packing there is a redistributor what is a redistributor actually whatever liquid comes here it it is actually coming and forming a layer and is redistributed in all directions in all directions it is equally evenly distributed so that the packings here get every side filled with liquid okay so that was just the figure wise difference the next difference is that okay the next difference is the main difference so point number one the main difference is that pack columns are used when it is easy easy separation okay when there is easy separation whereas plate is actually used when there is difficult yes when there is difficult let me write it for uh, difficult separation okay when the separation is difficult okay so the next thing is that if the separation is easy now why it is for easy separation we will come to that we will come to that but because the separation is easy and as you can see that in the column itself there is packing all over so this is whole packing then again packing again packing so we see there the packing has a more area the more surface area than the plate what happens in plate is that this is the plate okay these are the plates so this particular area okay this particular area is some where where the separation actually takes place okay this liquid vaporizes like this okay so this area is where the separation takes place this area this area whereas in the packings they are all over the liquid is there in the between the packings and there is more area so area the surface area is more hence what we can say is the column diameter should narrow down okay why so this column diameter is less why it should be less because already there is much area for the mass transfer to take place whereas in the plate column this this is something that we need more to get more area so the diameter increases so diameter is more okay so that's one of the differences again okay so let me rub this mm. okay so we have the dia less we have here the dia Di dia is diameter more okay third point because the diameter is less and there is like packings like there is some packing okay and in between there is fluid okay so that fluid that comes down slowly through these packings and there is a mass transfer here okay so this is my packing so you see this particular area where the fluid is is too small okay small spaces okay and hence what we can see here that it is the only space where the mass transfer will take place like over this surface and hence a very small gap is there between them okay also we say that the diameter is less so diameter is less that means the pressure drop okay the delta p the pressure drop should also be less because very less space for the pressure to change very less diameter for the pressure to change vastly okay whereas over here we see that between two plates there is a much wide area okay and that's why for the same height the pressure drop is less in back columns so delta p is less delta p is more 
fourth point. Fourth point, what we, going, we are going to consider here is that in packed columns, if there is some solid, okay, if there is some solid plus liquid that needs to be operated, then we cannot use packed columns. Then we cannot use because in the packings, in the packings, there these spaces will be occupied by this solid and it will actually block, block the whole thing. Okay. And that is something we don't want. So solid plus liquid kind of feed is actually not useful for us here. Okay, so not for solid. Solid means solid plus solid solution or solid suspension, I should say. So not for solid sus suspension. Okay, and this can actually bear solid, can bear, okay. It can bear solid to some amount, okay. And the main difference, the fifth difference is that this can be used where foaming, foaming is there, okay. We can use packed columns where foaming is there, but we cannot use, cannot use plate column. Because where, where foaming is there. We cannot use plate column where foaming is there, but we can use, uh, let me write it nicely. F O A M. Okay. But we can use packed columns for sure. Now, why cannot we use foam when foaming is there? Let's assume this a packed column. Okay, like this, there is a very little space. So the foam development won't be there as much as there is in plate column. Why? Because there is a vast space here, a very wide space because of which this foam will develop and the down comer won't be able to come. The foam will also block the upper tray, which will actually try to actually block every possible uh, exit and entry of the fluid, which is why if it is foaming, foaming li liquid, then use the pack one. Another thing that the we can see that plate column because there are plates so it is generally not used for corrosive liquid okay if the if the liquid okay if the liquid or the feed is corrosive material corrosive then the corrosion might take place over these uh, plates 